to another episode of Terratech. And on this episode, uh, we are going to be playing a uh, sumo game on this one, which is uh, pretty cool. If you watched the last episode, you guys will know what that is. It's basically uh, where you can tweet your own designs out and have them fight one another uh, to the death. And we're going to try to do that. We're going to try to build one from scratch. And as you can see, all the pieces that we might need are here. We're going to try to do the best we can with that. We're going to try to use every single one of these as well. So how are we going to start with this? I think the best way to start with this would be to use these things. No, in fact, I'm going to leave those and I'm going to use those in the front. And I'm going to protect my main bot as much as possible. Um, let's do this. Put that there. And actually, can we move that down? Yeah, we'll move that down. Because most of the weapons that I've seen in this game have been on top. And so if you can uh, kind of protect it a little bit, I'll put this tractor pad uh, down on top of it to uh, give it a little bit more protection. Hmm. What else do we want to put over here? I guess we'll protect it in the back. We'll do this. Now, should we do that? Yeah, I think we will. I think we will do that. And we'll move this back a little bit more. And one more. Okay, so we get quite a few of those. Let's move this out. Can we not put whip wheels on this sucker? Yeah, we can. So we could do that. Can we attach anything to the side panel here? No, we can't. So it would be very, very exposed. Although we could do something like that. And then we could attach weapons to the side of this. That might be a method. Let's do this. How many of those do we get? Because you only have a certain number of these blocks. So this is going to look more like a little spider. Yeah, there we go. That's going to kind of... Yeah, it's interesting at least. I don't know if we can call it cool, but it's it's definitely interesting. Let's put this over here on this side as well. Come on, put it on. Come on. What is wrong with you? Like, I know it works because it worked on the other side. I had the same issue with, uh, with the last one we came over here on the left-hand side. We just couldn't add anything to it. That's weird. It connects over here, but it doesn't want to connect over here. Are they upside down, maybe? Is it too far off in one direction? Let's try it like that. Maybe they have to be sideways? Nope. It can't have a certain size to it, can it? Like, it has to be... That's messed up. I guess we can't do the spider bot. Hmm. Well, that throws off all my plans. Okay, well, what if we do this on the front? You guys will have to let me know if maybe I'm missing something on that, which is why I wasn't able to do it, because that seems kind of weird. Maybe if I if I move it over here, can I? No, I still can't attach it. I think it just has to do with the angle. I think that is the only reason it wouldn't let me do that. Yeah, because I, I can attach it over here. I just can't attach it from this one. What if I do this? Okay, I'll take that off. So now it doesn't go over as far. Yeah, okay, so it is the fact that um, it can only go so far in either direction. And whichever direction you go in first is the direction that it needs to go in, uh, you know, from then on, I guess. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to change this up a little bit then. We're not going to use these in the same method that we were doing earlier. What if I... Yeah, I'll attach that. We'll take that off, and I will attach this. This is going to be the strangest looking bot ever, but in a good way, I think. I think it's going to help us out quite a bit uh, when we start. What about these gray blocks? How many of these gray blocks do we get? It's definitely going to help us out when we actually start uh, getting to the point where, you know, we're, we're fighting other bots. From what I've seen, all you have to do is push the other guy out of the arena, and you win. And if ours is so long that we ram into the other guy with so much speed that, uh, you know, he goes flying out, then, then that's going to really help us out. Okay, so this is a lot of little gray blocks that we get. Now I'm going to put these down because, again, he's on that side, so it's going to be kind of difficult for me to see these things. Uh, they're getting a little slower to spawn. Let's see. I wonder how many we get of these things. Probably only need a few more. Let me try a couple more just to be sure. There we go. Okay. And the reason I'm doing this mainly is so I can put wheels up here. Of course, uh, 
you know, with wills, it's going to help your guy out. And I think that's going to give us a little bit more traction. Plus, I can hide some stuff down here, stuff that may be able to give us a little bit extra support, such as tractor pads. I think there's enough space in between those two to put some tractor pads on there, uh, like these right over here. Yep, I sure can. Where's the next one? Right there. So if these things get destroyed, they won't immediately pop the wheels off because there is some support between them uh, to keep them going. So if we put these over here, and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take some of these blocks right here and put these down on the bottom. And then once they're there and the wheels are in place, I can actually take these things off. Uh, can you not go back as far? What's the deal there? This is as far back as it will go, huh? Okay, well, that's that's interesting to know. I wonder why it only goes back so far. Let's move that over. Mm, nope, not exactly where we want it, guys. There we go. Okay, so that's down as far as possible. And then when we put this thing down... In fact, let's put this over here. And, you know, if we have some of these diamond tips, I kind of want to protect these blocks from uh oh you know what it's too long it's too long for me to put these these tips on the front oh that sucks okay how are we gonna do this what if we do this and take this off in fact we can go one more over and then we could use four of them right there and we'll take these off and we'll move these around a little bit. Uh, these are going to be my, my blocks that I can move around at will and really do whatever I feel like with them. Uh, let's see, we can pick these things up over here. Okay, so now can I move that back? Or does it still... I don't know, let's put a, let's put a couple of uh, blocks down here. This is kind of a learning experience, guys. There are some some definite uh, changes that you have to make to your bot to be able to make it legal, to make it actually acceptable in uh, whatever weird combat that you're going to be fighting there. Yeah, again, uh, it's too far up with this tractor pad, so I'm going to have to take that out, put that back here. Hmm. Let's see, how many of these are we going to get? Just uh, three, huh? Okay, so we'll go with two of those there, and maybe one here. Can we not attach it? Is it too long? Is that what it is? Oh man, this is this is a bit ridiculous. Actually, let's take that off, and we will move these things down here onto the uh, the bottom. If we can, we'll have to create a whole row. Of, uh, of duels of these blocks so that these can be attached to it. That way we can go down one further because we do have big wheels. So there's no reason we can't have dual layers of this stuff. Again, the more you have up here, the more uh, you know firepower is going to be required to take you out. And from what I've seen, it's the melee that, that really comes at you and just wipes the floor with you uh, if you're not careful. So that's kind of what I've been building this guy to protect against. And I don't know how well it's going to work. Like, this is my first design, so this may be the absolutely worst uh, design any of you have ever seen. If it is, let me know. I mean, I'm not going to get uh, my feelings hurt from it, but uh, there's a couple two blocks over here. Why didn't I know about that? Okay, we're going to pick that up. Let's throw those over here on the floor. I wonder how many of these we get. Probably just a few. Can't see too many. Okay, that should be more than enough for now. Okay, let's put this down probably could get away with using even fewer of these things, but uh, I'm going to go all out. Let's do four here. Now, this is uh, this is what I don't know. Should we use these things pointing down? Can we even put them pointing down? No, we can't even put them pointing down. We have them pointing up right now. That's not going to work. Let's take those off. We can do these right here, will they actually stick? What in the world? Why won't they stick? Oh, wait, where is that going? Okay, we're going to take the tire off. Let's take the tire off. Let's see, can we put it up there now? Yes, we can put it up there now. So I guess it is the tire, you know, like I said before, it's only able to go back 
Uh, we're gonna tilt that so it's facing down. Can we? I don't think that's going to hit anything. Like, I want it facing the other way. Uh, come on. It doesn't seem to want to tilt the direction that I want it to. Like, you can see the lip on the bottom, and it tilts every direction but the one I want. And I wonder if that's because there's stuff underneath it, and it, it would hit that. And so it's saying, no, you can't do that one. Hmm, this may not work, guys. This may not be a good idea. Let's see, what about... Can we attach these things up here at all? What if we tilt it going up? Come on, up, up, up. Oh, come on, this is ridiculous. Right there, that's what we want. And if I can do a whole layer on the top, that will allow it to kind of grip onto uh, something else. There we go. There we go. And the front, like I said, is really the only part of your bot that you need to be concerned about. I haven't really seen any of the uh, the, the creations that we've uh, tried in the arena last for for longer than a few seconds. So let's see what we can do here. No, I want it up here. Okay, so now it is facing down. It sure is. Now that works like that. But what about these guys? Can I use? Hmm. Can I put these on the side, maybe? I can. Yeah, we're going to do that. Okay, so we'll put this up here. Make sure it's facing the right way. No, that's not exactly how I want it, guys. Come on. What is your deal? That is how I want it, but I want it actually, you know, over all the way like that. Okay, so it was going on right the first time. I wonder how many of these we get. Let's look at that, guys. One, two, three, and four. Okay, so not bad. Now, how many more of these uh, two blocks do we have? Because I want to go all the way down uh, as well on this side. Let's see if we there we go. Tilt it. And I've been told you can uh, hit the uh, the second uh, mouse button, and it will also do the same thing as the scroll wheel. You see right there. That's what I'm doing. I'm just clicking the second mouse button over and over again, which is kind of cool. But I like the scroll wheel. It gives you a little bit more control over it. Allows you to uh, kind of move the uh, and, and go in reverse if you find uh, the actual position you want. I don't know if you if you click the second mouse button, if it will allow you to uh, reverse it at any time when you uh, find the position you like the most. Okay, we're going to put one over here on this side. Oh, man, this thing's a beast. What about... I think we're going to go lower. Lower is probably going to be the thing to do on this. Let's see, can we put one over here? Sure can. And that's going to be it there. Hmm, I don't know if I like the the way that looks. Let's put this here, and we'll go down one more. Okay. And we can go ahead and take that one and put it in the front. Now, underneath, what we can do is we can store all of our uh, explosives, all the stuff that can really damage our bot. Uh, underneath because for them to get down here and actually blow this stuff up we're going to uh, or they're going to actually have to get to my my bot like they're gonna have to destroy that once that's destroyed the match is over anyways so I think putting all the stuff down here is perfectly fine uh, that can uh, explode on you if we can get it in there just right there we go how many more do we get and you want to make sure to use every object these guys give you uh, at least that's what I've seen so far to be the the best ones in the game. Uh, do exactly that. Uh, you guys lined up? You sure are. Okay, how much? How many more can we fit in here? Probably a few more, to be honest. This seems like they're giving us a lot of these guys. Probably for this very uh, reason that they're they're kind of easy to hide, and because they're easy to hide, they know you're going to find a way to do that, and they want to make it as difficult as possible. Uh, when it comes time for that. Let's see. I'm going to do this down here. Hmm. What if I do these? No. Okay, not exactly what I had planned. Let's do this. Put that there. Okay, so is that enough space? It's three. And how many do we need? We only need two. 
So yeah, we should bring it in one more. Is it down all the way? There we go. Ah, and we're out. That's it. That's all we need there is just uh, just that one. So let's take these off. Put those over here. You know what? I'm going to put over here on this side, which uh, may or may not be a good idea, will be these, uh, these giant fuel tanks. If they can be protected here on this side, how are we going to do this? What if we... What if we do this? And one more over here. We may move these in the future. But for now, I'm just going to try to uh, to have them placed down on it. Can we not do that? In fact, I guess we don't really need those there. We can just have them connected to the side over here. So let's take those off. I was going to have them connected down just for looks. To have them, uh, you know, laying flat. I don't know if they're protected more like that. Uh, but we need to... Uh, we need to build something around here to protect these so that they're not so exposed. How many do we get? Four? Okay. If I find another spot for that, we'll put it down. Now we need to figure out a way to put some wheels on this guy. Let's uh, go back this way. Right there. We'll do another one over here. No, 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 no. That's not what we want, guys. We want it right where we want it. Okay, so that's set up. Now, boosters? Yeah, we're going to fill this entire back with boosters. If it will go down. It's not where we want it, guys. We want it right... Oh, you know what? It's too... F oh, my God. It's too much in the front to go any further back. So we got to be very careful with where we put these things, okay? Put these here, I guess, right on top. They are uh, somewhat explosive themselves, so not exactly the best method to do this, but uh, it's better than nothing, I think. Oh, man, that sucks. Okay. How far are we going to be up? You know what? We're going to be up pretty far. I could technically get away with putting these over here. Yeah. Although it's really close to the front, that might not be a good idea. We might have to move that, guys. Put that here. Let's see. Where are... Do we have any more blocks? Mm, kind of. I don't know if we can use these to... To put the thing on, I don't think we can because it won't turn the other way. Let's uh, let's do this. Hopefully that's going to be all I need. No, it's not. Okay, well, what we can do then is put this here. Put that on. Now, which one do we get rid of? This one right here, I think, is, is going to be fine to get rid of. And that will stay there. Not exactly safe, but uh, for now, the best we can do. Okay, we need to get some wheels on this sucker so I can figure out where that placement needs to go. We'll put this down. Is that as far back as it can go? Yep, it sure is. Okay, so since that is as far back... Do I even need this over here? How, how, where can I put this? Hmm. I guess we'll leave that there for now. Actually... Man, I, I kind of hate to do it, but we could we could hide these in the front, but I don't I'm not doing that. That it's way way too dangerous. Let's see how are we gonna how are we gonna combine the wheel over here? This is tricky. This is not as easy as it looks. It's like when you're putting a puzzle together and you get all the way to the end, you're like, uh, it doesn't line up. You know, like now you have to make some hard choices about what to attach stuff to. I guess can we put these things down? We can. They're just not quite going in the the direction I want. Let's take those off. We'll do the single ones. There we go. I think uh, with any luck we can still attach the wheels to this. There we go. Is that where the other one is? No, it's not. Holy crap, that is a lot lower than it needs to be. Okay, we gotta fix that, guys. One of my pieces just flew off of there. No! <laughs> okay, so we need to figure out where is that located. That is going to go up right there. I think that should do it. Right there, yeah. And I think we actually got a little bit more out of that, too. So, not too bad. And this wheel is going to help protect that fuel tank. There we go. Put it right there. 
and it's down all the way on it. So how do we get that to happen over here? I guess the only way for that to happen is to go down even further. Yep, that's exactly it right there. And then we could take that off because it doesn't need to be there yet. I mean, we'll go back and add stuff to it later on. Let's see, can we put this here? Okay, so there's at least some support here in the front. It may be pretty heavy here, so I'm going to put an extra wheel. I think this is going to tilt down quite a bit. So let's see, is there anything we can put down underneath to give it uh, an extra little bit of lift? Maybe the fans? Do we have any tractor pads? Uh, not tractor pads. Uh, any hover pads? We do. We do have a few hover pads here, guys. So I'm going to put those down in the front. In fact, let me, let me toss a whole bunch of them here on the floor. I wonder how many we're going to get, though. We could use every single one of these. Now, these are incredibly weak. They're not going to add pretty much any structural integrity, integrity to your vehicle. They will add quite a bit of weight to it as well. But they're going to reduce that weight when they're actually on it because they're, they're counteracting that by using whatever, you know, there is to the tech to create, uh, you know, almost weightlessness. It's, it's repelling the earth uh, in a certain way so that you will actually uh, float and hover with these things uh, attached to your bot. And that's exactly what we want up here. We want a nice, uh, very lightweight front so that these wheels can actually support this bot and don't, uh, you know, tip over when this guy tries to go forward and just kind of get stuck on the ground because that would be heartbreaking to see. Now, I'm sure once we get this bot uh, designed and ready to go and actually enter it into a competition, you know, we're going to have to make refinements to it. We've seen that with other people's bots where he has version 1, version 2, vor version, uh, you know, 6.0 and things of that sort. So uh, that's going to be something we need to be aware of that we don't have to get it right on the very first try. And chances are we're not going to like that. That would be very, very difficult to do. Okay, so I'm going to put some more up there. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Let's see, we're going to put a wheel right over here. Okay, so that's on there fairly decently. What about over here? Yeah, that's on there, right? Let's move this over. So that is on there. No, that needs to be better because we're going to attach stuff to the... Oh, we can. What is there? Oh, you know what? That sucks. Okay, so... How do we fix that? We need to take a two block that doesn't need to be there, like this one, and put, can we move it over? I think I had it there for a second. Hmm. It's not gonna work, is it? I guess it does, just in a different way. I mean, I can put this here and have it attached to the back of it right there, and then I can move this over. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Let's put this over here. Just so we can add some more wheels. Ah, oh, come on. I'm going to need another one down there. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Okay, let's use these guys. And I only need them so that I can put that stupid thing down. It's, it's being a little bit of a pain in the butt uh, because it wants multiple blocks there and once it's down like I said you can pick it back up but there we go so let's pick that back up let's use some fans where are we gonna put the fans we can put some fans back here I do believe that's the way they need to go to blow right yeah I think that's the way they need to go okay let's go back into build mode hmm what are we going to do with the thrusters and the wings? Because we can't go back any further. Like, the, the thrusters, they have to be on the sides. This is really not forming to the, the greatest spot that I was hoping to get. We do still have these things that we can put down. Just one of them, though. And that's going to allow us to go a little higher so we can block some of the stuff for our thrusters, maybe. Maybe we can even come out a little further this way. No, about that is about as far as we can go which I'll be happy with. I, that's going to allow us to uh, protect the side of our bot a little bit more. Same thing here. Can we put more of those there? Sure can, but not quite going to be going the right way, though. If that's going down, it's not going to do anything. What if we move that over here and turn it up? Yeah, I like that. It gives a nice uh, kind of illusion to it that it's it's protected. 
about over here? Can I have that going down? Do we only get one of the Oh, no, we get two of those. Okay, so let's do the same thing on this side. If we can get it to uh, to work that way. Actually, we're going to have to turn it, I think. Nope, right there. Come on, there we go. I like that. I like that a lot. I like the way that looks. Very front heavy, though. So let's move this to the center. Again, that's just to block a lot of the damage that I'll be getting on this one. And we're not even close to done yet, guys. And we've already played for about 25 minutes here. So this may be a two-parter where I actually uh, design this guy and, and finish him up and, and do what we need to do with him. Let's see, what what about the mortars? The mortars can go a little further back, but you want, you want these weapons right in the front because that's the only way they're going to hit anything. So let's... Let's put as many of these things down as possible here. Oh, man, if I miss with this guy, if this guy doesn't uh, doesn't get, like, the first couple of hits, I don't know how well he'll survive. Like, I don't think he'll survive that well at all, to be honest, uh, if he has to go at it for very long, because he doesn't have a shield. You know, I kind of wish he did. That would be very cool if he had, a, like, a nice shield generator. Although, if, you know, if the creatures had that and you had to compete with that, holy crap, that's... That would be a very long fight, and it would really depend on who got the first hits uh, in that fight, and you know, was doing the most damage to the shields and stuff like that. So, hmm. You know what? Now that I see it, I might move these up a tad bit and try using these things down here if they will fit, which it does look like they will. And you know, you got to keep in mind that once these uh, pieces are destroyed, because you know, you're going to lose pieces of your bot fairly quickly. If you watch the last episode, you'll see that within like a minute to two minutes, uh, all the bots were destroyed. Sometimes even less than that. Sometimes just a few seconds, all the bots were destroyed. So you got to keep in mind that when the pieces are destroyed, what's going to happen to the pieces behind them? And that's where you want like firepower where it may not be able to hit right away, but it will be able to hit later on once uh, that stuff has been cleared up. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it in layers. And I'll put like these uh, these dump trucks over here on, on the front to give it a little bit extra. And we'll do that right over here as well. Nice. Okay, that should be fine. Now what about the... I don't know about the wings. Like, why do I need that? I don't really need the wings. I'll put them on there because they're extra pieces. But I really don't see us using those. Yeah, we'll put those on. We'll grab some over here as well. What about you? You are going over here on this side. So they have the, the left ones and the right ones. We're going to put these on. That might give us a little bit of lift. For all I know, it might actually help us out. I don't really think it will, but uh, it's worth a shot. Now let's see. What about the turbines? Where are we going to put the turbines? Maybe down underneath here? Maybe that would be the way to go? I mean, we can put a whole bunch down here. Let me drag some and drop them. So they're... Oh, and it, get, it gets kicked out from underneath my bot, which is kind of where I wanted it. How many do we get? Wee baby! Holy crap, that was tossed way up there in the sky. Okay, so we just get a, a handful. Not too bad. Okay, now let me see if I can zoom in and figure a placement for these guys. These, these are going to be tricky. I don't know if they need... Uh, a certain amount of space if they need to uh, yeah if they can if they can actually propel like this from down here on the bottom with with no room to breathe and and suck in more uh, more air for the because uh, like if you did this in real life I don't really think it would work like you you had to have the airflow for these things to really you know funnel it through and if they can't see it if they can't pull that air in I it shouldn't be saying they can't see it but if they can't pull that air in uh, in a, uh, a speedy and steady path or a steady, uh, you know, funnel, then they're, they're not going to have any air to, to funnel through the fans, whether the fans are there or not. There we go. Let's see. If we move this, it'll give us a little bit more space to put a few more down. And again, I'm trying to make sure the front is as light as possible uh, because that's our heavy piece right there. And the more pieces you put in the front, the longer it will last, like I said. So... It really is just trying to throw junk in the way so that uh, you have the best chance to survive the longest. Uh, let's see, what can we do with this? We'll put that over here. How many of these do we even get? 
three, probably four. Okay, so we get four of those. Hmm. We're not gonna be able to use four. I mean, we could use one right here. But as far as like the other ones go, like where do I put those? Might be able to get one over here. If I put that tractor pad down. Let's put that on there. Come on. Yep, sure can. Yeah, I don't know where to put the other ones except for like fodder. Like just put it in places where I know I'm gonna get hit, and therefore they can take some damage. Like these wheels over here, I can do the same with those. Hmm. Okay, let's figure out the mortars. Let's see if we can. Can we not fire? Oh, look at that, guys. We are very front heavy. In fact, so much so, we need to put some more weight here in the back. Yeah, we definitely need to put some weight back there. So what can we throw back there that weighs something? Anything? Um, no, not really. I don't really see anything other than maybe weapons. We can put these back here. Because weapons really aren't going to do very much good where that is. Let's see. We can throw some thrusters. No, turn, turn, turn. No, yeah, you do not want to turn, do you? No, that's because you're on the wrong surface. There we go. We'll do that. You know, normally you would not want to put the, the back of an engine next to the back of another engine. Like, that would just be doom right there when those both launched and hit the one right behind it. But in this circumstance, uh, I think it's okay. I think, you know, you're not going to get secondary explosions from stuff like that. Um just yet maybe at some point they will add that into uh, the pack and say okay you know now it's a little bit more intelligent and it knows that uh, that would cause an explosion but for now I think you're gonna you're gonna be fine so this is what we're gonna do we're gonna move this down here ooh not enough space right because there's no other one there hmm and there's enough space over here because it kind of ends well I don't know what to do on that one guys but I think we are going to go ahead and end the episode here, and I'll restart this one on the next episode, guys. If you do enjoy this, uh, leave a comment down below. Hit that like button. Subscribe. I do apologize for those guys uh, who are expecting to see combat. I'll leave a little description uh, on this episode to let you know uh, right off the bat that there's not going to be any combat in this one. It's just going to be me building my first sumo bot uh, and trying to perfect it, and then I'm going to upload it to, to uh, Twitch. So those of you who want to see that uh, and fight that bot maybe or fight with that bot, maybe design uh, a few improvements or kind of play around with my design are more than welcome to do that and you'll know like why I did the things that I did and uh, you know you're more than welcome to to fix that stuff if you want but again guys uh, thanks for watching and I will catch you next time